And now, with the area's certified most accurate forecast seven years in a row, meteorologist Jeff Andrews. Thanks for being with us for your Saturday night. Hope you're having a good weekend. Uh, we had a band of precipitation. Uh, it's you know pretty dry, not a lot of moisture to work with. It's kind of made its pass, and uh, it's just really just cloudy skies right now. The winds are going to be picking up. Storm Team 5 Skyview is powered by Pella Windows and Doors of Wisconsin. Here you got Green Bay, 35 degrees right now. And uh, Sturgeon Bay, kind of the same situation, 35. And Oshkosh, close enough, 34 degrees right now. It's mainly middle 30s. We're not going to drop back a whole lot as we go through the course of the overnight. And uh, why not head into February, uh, February mile? That's kind of how we finished out our January. If you're going to have a warmer than usual month, I'm thinking January's a good one. Fifth warmest of all time. We've been in a pretty warm stretch as well. And this is going to continue to 43 to 45 days above our typical high temperatures. Warmest day in January was uh, the 9th, which was 45 degrees. The coldest overnight low, five below on the 17th. All right, here's the band of precipitation I was talking about. It's a pretty fast mover. It's pretty well past us. And, you know, really not much was seen for most of us, I would say so. Here's kind of a wider shot. We have dry air making its way in. We uh, will see some sunshine tomorrow, more than we've seen in a while. I'm not saying it's going to be, you know, we're going to be basking in the glow of the sun, but more so. Gusty winds tomorrow. Could be advisory criteria. Near a mild, uh, mild record high temperature. 45's potential. Then as we get into next week, uh, pretty close to what typically we'd expect in February, like mid and upper 20s. As far as the snow, this is it, but a dusting, mainly to the north. Temperatures right now, middle 30s along the lakeshore. You got Kiwani, Manitowoc 36, Green Bay 35. Kind of the same situation as you go further west as well. The winds are still, I'd say, on the lighter side. We're starting to make our way into the double digits. 10 mile an hour winds, and that's kind of what we're going to see. They'll pick up, and they're going to shift out of the west as we get into the day tomorrow. We're going to see some pretty strong gusts. All right, this is what we're looking at tonight. It's a mainly 20 to 25 mile an hour range. On the overnight, we're seeing 25 to 30 mile an hour. Sunday morning, we're starting to see some brighter colors here. 40 mile an hour gusts to the west making their way across. Check out what we're seeing. I stopped at 2 o'clock Sunday afternoon. 50 mile an hour gusts from the west for Green Bay. I think this might be a bit aggressive, but you get the point. It's near advisory criteria. By Sunday night, we start to see things kind of wind down a little bit. Uh, calm, I should say. Now look at this. We've got a gale warning in place over Lake Michigan. That's uh, Sunday, Sunday night as well. The temperature is now 44 potentially for the high tomorrow with the winds. It's going to have a chill to the air. Monday, not bad, 37. Then we get to, uh, you know, a lot closer to normal as we go towards uh, the middle part of the month. All right, here's what we're seeing as far as the cloud cover as we get to the overnight. This uh, band of precipitation here kind of looks like a little bit of everything there. A mix, a little rain, a little snow. It's pretty well past us as we get into the overnight hours. By Sunday morning now, this model is showing things clearing off. And we're looking at a fair amount of sunshine for your Sunday. We start to get into your Monday. We start to uh, see a little more cloud cover as we get into the day. It's going to end up as a pretty cloudy day as we get into your Monday. So for tonight, cloudy, breezy, low 30s, I'm thinking. For tomorrow, we're going to see those winds kick up. They'll be out of the west, gusting upwards of 40 miles an hour. Should be in the middle 40s. A lot of it's going to you know, depend on how much sunshine we see tomorrow. And by Monday, partly sunny and 37. Then we're into the 20s through the rest of the work week. A fairly quiet stretch, Robin. The ground dog, he's thinking, yeah, do I see my shadow or not? Get your forecast. Yeah, like I know what a groundhog's thinking. <laughs> all right, Facebook, uh, you can get your weather updates anytime. Uh, you know where to find it, all right? Uh, you got to like us. That's the key. Exactly. Yeah. You know, Rhonda said in her story that tomorrow was going to be a heat I didn't heat call wave. you Rhonda, did I? You, you didn't, oh, okay. even though uh, everyone does. Even though I did it earlier. Yeah. But, but she said it was going to be a heat wave tomorrow, and 44, that's, that's pretty warm. Definitely. Warmest I mean, we've like had in a while. 20 degrees above the typical, but you factor in the winds, though. Well, still. Maybe, yeah, maybe not yeah, so warm. Yeah, we'll see. Uh-oh. Well, thank you, Jeff.